Someone's oh. overboard, Todd. Someone's overboard. Yeah, looking back to Sydney, it was kind of all going pretty well. First race, day one. Emirates, Great Britain. They're laying out a plan. We'd set ourselves back towards the front of the fleet. And uh, yeah, it was kind of one of the last maneuvers on the last downwind. I took one step back and before I knew it, I was, I was in the water. And um, yeah, getting thrown around pretty quick. And it all kind of went pretty dark for a while. And then just still about trying to keep my arms and legs as close to my body as possible. Found myself bouncing, hitting various things. Wasn't quite sure what I was hitting. And then the team slowed the boat down really quick and kind of came to my senses, realised where I was and uh, grabbed hold of the tramp, pulled myself out of the water and then uh, the lads got me back on board and we, what I wanted to do then was just try and finish the race and not lose as many points. It all happened pretty quick and obviously I jumped back on my feet with all the adrenaline and all I wanted to do was finish the race. So it kind of felt like I was a bit bruised but I was okay and then once we stopped to finish that first race, um, obviously there was a bit of damage to repair to the boat that I'd, I'd created from falling through. So the whole team were working on getting the boat ready for the next race and I came off and just sat down and I think that's when I started realising things were a bit sore and I was probably in a shock quite a lot so didn't really know exactly what was going on. And before I flew home, it would be a good chance to, to get a scan which is where I learned that I'd, just, I'd fractured my sacrum and ripped my glute off the, off the bone a little bit so it was kind of, there's plenty going on and as you can kind of see from what happened with kind of being nearly 100 kilos and getting thrown around like that it was bound to cause a bit of damage. Uh, the first thing to do was just kind of let everything settle down a bit, let the body do its thing, kind of lots of swelling and I was, trying, I was still on crutches and I wanted to go out about for a long period of time, I was, I was actually in a wheelchair at the time so it was always kind of touch and go really as to when I'd be back. Um, obviously I wanted to be back for New Zealand in Christchurch, so it was my aim and I was kind of hopeful for that. When I was first initially told there was just a bit of bruising, I was wasn't even on my radar that I wasn't going to be there for, for that event. I was obviously hoping to go to San Fran for the last event of the season and, and watching the team get themselves into the position they did, but um, watching from home was pretty hard. Um, but I knew I was kind of, it was better for me to stay home and get some solid training done and rehab and make sure that I was in the best possible shape to come back to start season four. Uh, I've missed sailing these boats like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> I've been doing it for the best part of three years now. And, and to miss just two events, it feels like a, an eternity. So yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing to get back. Out in Chicago, start season four, start fresh, clean slate, um, get back with the team and, and, and push on. And the season's got another boat joined the, join the league and new venues and stuff. So it's, it's always, every season is unknown. And it's, uh, it's great to start and see, see where we end up. But yeah, no, to just to get back and get that first race under the bow and hopefully get some good points on the board. And I loved, Racing in Chicago last year, so it's a great venue. So to kick off there, it'll be fantastic.